Hi, welcome to this presentation. This is Paul Fru from O10 Engineering Services. And this presentation is all about the factors affecting resistance. And if you need to contact us, you can email us at o10.engineering at tafensw.edu.au or you can phone us on 02 9715 or you can like us on Facebook, O10 Electro Technology or you can follow us on Twitter, O10 Electrical. And this is part two of a two-part series. So in our first part, we looked at the factors affecting resistance and what were they. And we also looked at what was the difference between resistance and resistors. So we saw resistors were components which were designed to oppose current. Where resistance, the opposition to current flow, it's measured in ohms. The algebraic symbol, which means the mathematical symbol, is the letter R. It's something that is in every circuit. And we define it as the property of a circuit that opposes current. So there's four factors affecting resistance. They were length, CSA, the type of material, and temperature. Now with regards to length, if we increase the length, resistance went up. And we said it was directly proportional. It's a relationship between those two. And if the area went up, resistance went down. We said that was inversely proportional. Now with material, it depends on the type of material, like copper or aluminium. Now with temperature, we saw that if temperature went up, resistance went up. We said that that had a PTC. And if temperature went up and resistance went down, and it was an NTC. And we'll explain through this presentation what they actually mean. OK, so with temperature, if the temperature goes up and resistance goes up, we say it has a PTC characteristic, and that means positive temperature coefficient. If it has an NTC characteristic, where as the temperature goes up, resistance goes down, it's a negative temperature coefficient. Now metallic conductors have a PTC characteristic like copper and aluminium, whereas insulators, gases, electrolytes and semiconductors have a NTC characteristic. Now things like manganin and constant have a zero temperature coefficient of resistance. So just to recap, as the temperature goes up, resistance goes up, it has a PTC characteristic, and if the temperature goes up, resistance goes down, it has an NTC characteristic. So PTC on our graph there, NTC on the graph there, PTC meaning positive temperature coefficient, NTC negative temperature coefficient, and ZTC zero temperature coefficient. So we're going to look at some information here. We're going to go through some questions. Now, there's a thing called temperature coefficient of resistance, which says the change in resistivity for each ohm and for each degree Celsius change in temperature is called the temperature coefficient of resistivity. This quantity is represented by the Greek letter alpha and has the units ohm per ohm per degree Celsius. In this case here, copper, 0 0.004 ohms per ohm per degree Celsius. There's an equation to represent this and to work out the uh, temperature as it goes up. And it's R2 equals R1 and in brackets 1 plus alpha delta T. Now you may see R hot uh, for R2 and R1 for R cold. So let's start off here. R2 is the final resistance in ohms. R1 is the initial resistance or the cold resistance in ohms. The alpha is the temperature coefficient of resistance of the material by the 0 0.004 ohms per ohm per degrees per Celsius. And delta T is a change in temperature. So here's an example. A copper conductor has a resistance of 13.5 ohms at 0 degrees. So determine its resistance at 15 degrees using 0 0.004 ohms per ohms degrees Celsius as the temperature coefficient of resistance for copper. So here's the information here. We're going to actually fill out this graph here. So there's our equation. So let's start. A copper conductor has a resistance of 13.5 ohms. So on our graph, that is R1 or 
the initial resistance. Next part it says is zero degrees, so we're just going to put down that's where it starts at zero degrees C. Now it goes up to fifteen degrees C, so we put in fifteen degrees C, and our temp difference in or change in temperature is the fifteen degrees. Point zero zero four, we'll just put down into this point here. That's how much it's going up by. Now we put in our equation. So R1 equals R2, then in brackets 1 plus alpha delta T. And if you notice in the equation at the top there, it has alpha times delta T. If we don't put anything in between the alpha and the delta T, where that's the mathematical um, working out there. OK, so 13.5, and in brackets 1 plus 0 0.004 times 15. So there's delta T there. Now using the calculator, it all depends what calculator you've got. We just go 1, 3.5, which is 13.5, then in brackets 1 plus 0 0.004 times 15. Those brackets equals, and you should get 14.31 ohms. Now you should get an answer larger than that because we've got a positive temperature coefficient. Now if you have problems with your calculator doing that, I'll show you another way of doing it. If we work this part out first, 0 0.004 times 15, that gets us 0 0.06, then we add the 1, that gives us 1.06, and now we multiply the 13.5 to that. So 13.5 times 1.06 will give us 14.31 ohms. Well that little presentation there was looking at the temperature and how it affects uh, resistance. Just remember, PTC means as the temperature goes up, resistance goes up, and that's for metallic conductors. And with NTC, when the temperature goes up, resistance goes down. Things like insulators, um, semiconductors, gases, electrolytes have that characteristic. Okay, until next time, I hope that's helped you to understand. And don't forget, you've got your notes and your textbook readings to assist you throughout the course. Okay, bye for now.